Hey, what's up everybody? Richard Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, we're going to unbox, demo, and review the Mackinac G5 Pro Gamepad Controller. Now, I'm super excited to dive into this today because I recently bought two other Mackinac products, and both of which were absolutely amazing. I got the Mackinac Gaming Mouse right here, and I use this for everything on my computer, not just gaming. It's absolutely amazing. In fact, I threw out my other mouse because this is such an upgrade from that. Now, I also went and I grabbed this product right here. This is the Mackinac Gaming Keyboard. Take a look at this as I power it on. Just look at the design of this. Look at the RGB lighting. It's absolutely amazing. There's nothing that even touches this, in my opinion, for gaming keyboards out there on the market. So the lighting is phenomenal, but we also have this toggle switch here that has great functionality. We can actually minimize and open up new windows on our browser. We have the volume control over here. All you have to do is just tap this. You can adjust your volume right from the dial there. You don't have to hit a combination of buttons. And the keys on here are super responsive. Take a look at the action on here. Whether you're gaming or you're just using this as your typical keyboard on your PC, you're going to have a phenomenal experience here. It's so comfortable to use. It looks amazing as well. Definitely really happy with my experience so far with Mac and Ike. So I got this G5 Pro Gamepad controller. This is compatible with the PC, Nintendo Switch, Android, as well as iOS devices. It's got halt triggers as well as joysticks. So we're going to unbox this, take a look at the design, and then of course, test it out. Let's dive into it. All right, so we've got our dongle right here. This is gonna connect via USB-A connection over to whatever device we want to go ahead and connect this to. Now I'm gonna be using my PC today. We'll dive into some gaming and we'll see what the experience is like, but very easy to use. Simply plug this in, hit the button there to actually pair it. So we'll set that aside. Let's take a look at, we of course have our user manual in the back. This is a very thick user manual. So it walks through the different modes that you can jump into here. Button layout is detailed as well. Let's take a look at the controller. Now we also have another cable back here, which I didn't notice until I opened this up, but this is of course gonna be our charging cable. So USB-A to USB-C connection right here, decent amount of length on here. Go ahead and set that aside, but let's take a look at our controller. So first and foremost, this is a very nice design. Feels just like, actually feels like almost a cross between a Xbox controller and a PlayStation 5 controller. Take a look at the shoulder and trigger buttons up here. Nice grip on here, even up to even over here, right at the top. Really nice action. This feels really comfortable, and wow, the analog sticks are absolutely amazing. Just testing it out like this. I mean, I'm not even in game, but they just glide effortlessly. Good functionality to the button there. We've got some extra buttons here as well. So we have our center button. Look at that as we as we do that, it starts to light up. And we can actually jump into different modes here. We have a different assortment of colors for the RGB lighting. I like this rotating color scheme in all honesty, how it just kind of fluctuates between a bunch of different colors. Really sharp looking. A, B, X, and Y four button configuration. Obviously dual analog sticks. Layout here with buttons is very similar to that of an Xbox controller, but the shoulder and trigger buttons up here, on point, really comfortable. Those definitely feel like the shoulder trigger buttons actually, um, the shoulder buttons up here actually feel a little bit different than an Xbox style controller, but the triggers feel on point with what you would get from Xbox. So really love what we're seeing here so far. And right here we have our type C port. So that's how we'll actually go ahead. And when we're ready to charge this, we'll plug that in there. The other end goes into a USB A port on either like a laptop or regular computer, or if your um, power outlet supports that, you can certainly do that. Now in the back, we have a little switch to switch between modes. And most importantly here, we have it all labeled out for us. I don't know how many times I've seen this done on controllers where it's not labeled. You have to go over here, open this up just to figure out which line matches up with which mode. And then we also have our M1 and M2 buttons over here on the inside as well. Just everything about this, is great. Listen to the action on these buttons though. That is absolutely amazing. I love how responsive that is. I love the feel of this. It's not a hard button to push down. 
So many times we have these raised buttons that usually I don't mind, but you have a longer you know, action on them. So this is really tight, really easy to engage each of these buttons. I mean, you can see how fast I'm able to engage everything here. So let's pair this up. Let's jump into some PC games. Let's see what the experience is like using this because I'm stoked to dive in and see what we've got here. This looks and feels absolutely incredible. All right, guys, Mac and Ike has done it once again with this controller. It's an exceptional experience here. This is not going to be one of your cheap, you know, low end options out there for controllers. This is definitely high end and it feels very much so in the gameplay experience. I also love the unique design and those RGB lights are certainly a nice touch. We have those lights over here on the gaming mouse as well. A little bit hard to see because we're in a well lit area, but I don't think that you have any trouble seeing the RGB lighting over here on this keyboard, and I absolutely love this. This is the best keyboard, once again, that I've ever used, especially for gaming. I love the lights on there, I love all the controls, just the performance in general is phenomenal, but let's talk about the controller here. So the controller, we have Hall analog sticks here, as well as triggers, so that's why I chose to jump into some Forza Racing, test it out, the feel of the joysticks or analog sticks, and then we jumped into Halo to see what the triggers are like. Excellent experience on both sides. 
And I also love the fact that this is compatible with such a wide range of devices, Android, iOS, PC, and Switch. Just switch that um, setting in the back and you are good to go as soon as you plug in your USB dongle. So no matter what you're getting into, this has got your back. Definitely check it out on Amazon. I'm going to put a link up here at the top of your screen. I'll also put some links in the description of this video to each of the products that you saw here in this video. Get some additional information at the very least. Again, these are not low-end products. They're definitely high-end, but the performance is exactly that. So check them out. Let me know in the comments what you think of this new company and what they're putting out. That's going to do it for today, though. You guys know the deal. If you enjoyed the content today, please give me a thumbs up on the video. And of course, hit subscribe to stay in the loop for all future videos right here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for your support. I'll see you on the next one.